32 years ago when I married my husband, I never thought that I would be an advocate. But on October 23rd, 2014, tragedy changed that. That was the day this Holderness mother lost her son. Uh, I found him on the bathroom floor with the syringe still in his hand with his thumb still on the plunger. Like it plunged in and killed him instantly. It was a deadly dose of pure fentanyl. But after leaving detox days earlier, Carl Messenger's mother, Sue, says it was a relapse triggered by cough syrup with codeine, which is why, with the help of Congresswoman Annie Custer, she's pushing for the passage of Carl's law, requiring prescription narcotics to carry a warning on the label. Before you're prescribed an opiate, you need to understand that it may cause drug-seeking behavior. Had that been on there, I know that we would have had a different outcome with Carl. Tuesday's push was hosted by Hope for Recovery in Concord and a place that Congresswoman Custer believes is helping to take addiction out of the shadows and put it into the category of disease. And in the case of Carl's Law, she offers this analogy. When you hear the word addict, think of the word diabetic. We don't say to a diabetic, we can't treat you, you just ate cake. We say, wow, that's a really difficult disease to live with. How can we help you? It doesn't matter what social economic group you're in. It hits, it's hitting across the board and we as a community have to do something because we're losing a whole generation. Earlier this year, Sue Messenger told her story on Capitol Hill and she's urging anyone who's been touched with this crisis of addiction to contact their representatives in Congress and push for the passage of Carl's Law.